Wama uto jakoga uto pawa tu bamba wula. Jawa, I have parts here from a droid you sold. I need them identified. Kokola kopana kejata. Magusa no pachonki fa guta jioto India. Look at this as an opportunity to work with the Empire. You might come out ahead. You're gonna tell me what I need or you're dead. The transport module, what strangers did it belong to? Don't think you can pawn junk off on me. You've caused me trouble. I want tribute sent to me, or I'll return.
All right. Everyone get the equipment packed. Hale, see to the speeders. Look at you. You're starting to look like reclamation service material, covered in dust like that. Did you track down the Jawas? Those things should be exterminated. But I retrieved this. Looks like a stasis crate. The sort Zerka used to transport samples. Won't be easy to unseal, but we can peek inside. On it. We'll keep the sensitivity low. Don't want to pulverize any artifacts inside. Definitely something in there. Alien device of some sort, roughly spherical. Contained in a Zerka energy field. Blasted odd. What about it is odd? First pass shows the artifact is over 10,000 years old. Probably distortion. The energy readings are unstable. Give me a few days to pop it open and we'll run the scan again. I won't bore you with the science. Lord Siltha's on a pilgrimage and we're getting ready to move to the forward research outpost. But we may need you again soon. Captain, you're holding something back. Nothing actionable. You'll know anything as soon as I do. If you're heading to the desert, contact us at the first station out from Mos Ila. In the meantime, we've got an artifact to study. Playing all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. This is Captain Goa, Reclamation Service Outpost 701. It's good to see you again. My team's still searching for the Zerka base, but we've hit a snag that, frankly, we can't handle ourselves. Is there anything your team can handle? My team's been through fire and misery. They're survivors, but they're not soldiers. After you left for the Jawas, Lord Silfar had a vision. Something about the natives, the sand people. 
He flew a speeder into the dune sea, but we lost the tracking signal in an energy storm. Silthar was summoning lightning. By this time, your Darth is some animal's lunch. I don't believe that. Maybe he's hurt, but he's not dead. Lord Silthar was following a dream. The same way he found the lost temple of Zeost and the crystal caves of Molivar. He told me the sand people and their spirit guides were the key. He was looking for some sort of compass. If he can't take the heat, he shouldn't have left the base. Maybe. But at the very least, we need to know. Find the spirit guides and find him. When you have answers, come to our forward outpost. Otherwise, I don't know how this mission can succeed. Please use all products only as intended. Be well. Show you my gun.
Lord Silthar. Did Captain Gola send you? Such a good man. Eh? A pity he didn't send young Hale, but the honor is yours. <coughs> you will hear my last words. A pitiful death for a pitiful Sith. You think so? Oh, but you haven't seen what I have seen. The Force called me into the desert. I sensed what Circa found, an alien power. I saw a white room. I thought the Sand People would know the land's secrets. I murdered them, stole their thoughts to find this cave. I knew victory before they destroyed me. I followed the Shaman's compass, but what is this place? It is a cave of secrets. My journey here was not for nothing. Zerka built its base over a site from the natives' myths. A forbidden land. The paintings in the cave show the way. Find them. Record them. We'll finish the mission, my lord, one way or another. Find the paintings, but beware. Beware the thing in the white room. At your service, sir.
You and me, we're getting good. Hale, check on Keeler and the others. See if they figured out anything with the artifact. Sir, I'd like to hear what happened. Follow orders. I'll brief everyone later. You look... Well, you look like you've been to the Dune Sea and back. I've sent for Water and Colto, but we've been waiting for word. Any sign of Darth Siltha? He didn't make it. He fell to the Sand People and their servants. Damn it! We all felt it, but we weren't sure. We're not blasted Sith. Without Siltha, we're just archaeologists with guns. Without him, this whole expedition falls apart. I guess that's a problem. I guess since Silthar brought you into this, now you're out. Captain Gola! Blast hail, now's not the time. The artifact, the one the Jawas found. It's got Kayla. We disabled the dampeners, and there was a flash. What? Start containment procedures now! Sekien Actes de Vertini. Tell me about the imprisoned one. Kabies met yet ever first, Jan Tetogisek. Killer? Everyone, stay back. Jarus did yes, Tegesh Marwar. Those creatures. They were my team. Sir, I think Perrin escaped. He was heading into the desert toward the tribal settlement. Blast. We'll mourn later. You remember the sons of Palawa. You hit them hard in Mos Ila, but their main village is just a few clicks out. If that creature reaches them, this could get very ugly. Let our enemies destroy one another. Under other circumstances, maybe. Not now. Basic rule of Xenoarchaeology. You don't unleash a foreign technology into a population center, especially one with a man-machine interface. Worst case, the technology that changed Perrin could replicate. Every person in the settlement could be transformed. Technology like that could be very useful to the Empire. That's why we need to find Zerka. Reclamation Service protocol for contaminated sites mandates atomic heat cleansing of everything within a hundred meter radius. We've got a store of beradium explosives for that purpose. Enough to obliterate the Sun's cave village. But I hope it won't come to that. We should have destroyed the tribals long ago. If you say so. Get to the caves. Maybe you'll catch Perrin before he's transformed a whole army.
A little piece of Roman cars, smack in the middle of the desert, just in case you get homesick.